For 45 years, 5 months, and 17 days, the Voyager has been on an epic journey through space, traveling 23.846 billion kilometers from Earth. Along the way, it has sent countless messages back to Earth, each one revealing new insights about our universe. But now, as the spacecraft continues its journey further into interstellar space, it has sent a message that no one can fully understand. What could this mysterious message mean? Join us as we explore the mysteries of the Voyager and uncover the unknown. The Voyager probes are currently navigating interstellar space and hold the title of being the farthest human-made objects in the universe. However, their initial mission objective did not include traveling into unknown stretches of interstellar space. NASA launched the Voyager mission in 1977 with two probes, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. With the primary goal of exploring the outer solar system, the Voyager probes were designed to study our solar system's giant planets including Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and even Neptune, as well as their moons and surrounding interplanetary space. The mission was a continuation of previous Mariner missions that had successfully explored our solar system's inner planets. However, at the time, it was one of NASA's most ambitious and costly planetary missions. The two spacecraft were equipped with a suite of scientific instruments, including cameras, spectrometers, and plasma analyzers, which were used to study the gas giants and their moons. Both spacecraft were initially launched on a grand tour of the solar system, visiting Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The Grand Tour was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to study the giant planets of our solar system in depth, taking advantage of a rare alignment of the planets that allowed the Voyager probes to fly by each planet multiple times. The alignment happens once every 176 years, when the planets are in such a position that they can be visited in sequence without using excessive amounts of propulsion fuel. This enabled the probes to use the planet's gravitational fields to slingshot themselves from one planet to the next, saving fuel and increasing their speed. The Voyager 1 probe reached Jupiter in March of 1979, and it began its study of the giant planet and its moons. During its flyby of Jupiter's moon Io, Voyager 1 discovered new moons and previously unknown volcanic activity. Following its encounter with Jupiter, Voyager 1 moved on to Saturn, where it completed a flyby in November of 1980. During its encounter with Saturn, the probe thoroughly studied the planet and its moons, including the discovery of new moons and the discovery of the ring-moon interaction. Voyager 2, meanwhile, reached Jupiter in 1979 in July, and Saturn in August of 1981. Following its flyby of Saturn, Voyager 2 moved on to Uranus and Neptune, making the closest approaches to each planet in January of 1986 and August of 1989, respectively. Voyager 2 discovered new moons and studied the planet's atmospheres, magnetic fields, and rings during its encounters with Uranus and Neptune. The Voyager mission was extended after its planetary encounters, with both probes continuing on into interplanetary space. The probes began to study the edge of the solar system and the beginnings of interstellar space as they traveled further and further away from the Sun. In August of 2012, Voyager 1 became the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. But there has recently been a mystery surrounding the radio messages sent back to us by the Voyager 1 spacecraft. Despite being billions of miles from Earth, the Voyager probes communicate with us revealing insights and information about our solar system's outer reaches. But with the recent anomaly in these radio messages, experts are left scratching their heads, speculating about what could be the cause of this strange occurrence. To understand the messages being sent back to us, we need to delve into the technology and the mechanisms that make it possible for the Voyager spacecraft to transmit such long-distance signals. The Voyager spacecraft has a high-gain antenna that is 12 feet in diameter and looks like a satellite dish. This antenna is in charge of receiving commands from Earth and transmitting data collected by the Voyager spacecraft. The high-gain antenna on the Voyager is always pointed towards Earth, regardless of where it's flying. To receive commands from Earth, the Voyager spacecraft must be in communication range of the Deep Space Network, shortened to the DSN. The DSN is a global network of radio receiving stations that NASA has improved to better detect signals sent by the Voyager spacecraft. 
The network is made up of a series of 230-foot radio dishes that receive and send signals back to the Voyager spacecraft, allowing for nearly continuous communication. When the DSN receives the signals, they are sent back to Earth to be processed and analyzed. The data in the signals includes information about the Voyager spacecraft's environment, as well as images and other scientific observations. You might be wondering how the Voyager probes managed to survive in deep space for 45 years while still transmitting so much radio signal back to Earth. The power source and sophisticated system of design of the Voyager spacecraft are the keys to their long-term survival. Radioisotope Thermoelectric Generators, or RTGs. This is what powers the Voyager probes by converting the heat generated by the decay of plutonium-238 into electrical power. This heat source is dependable, long-lasting, and provides a constant and stable electrical power source. The RTGs are designed to provide electricity to the spacecraft even as they travel billions of miles from the sun, where solar panels would no longer be effective. The Voyager missions use a minimalist approach to system and instrument design in order to conserve power and extend the life of the RTGs. Non-essential systems and instruments like cameras are turned off when not in use, while essential systems and instruments like communication and scientific instruments are kept on at all times. When certain conditions are met, such as when the spacecraft is not in contact with Earth or when RTGs generate less power, the spacecraft are also designed to automatically switch to low power mode. The systems on the Voyager missions are designed to be redundant, which means that in the event of a failure, each system has a backup. The spacecraft, for example, has two pairs of attitude control thrusters, two pairs of radioisotope thermoelectric generators, and two pairs of computer systems. This redundancy adds safety and increases the likelihood of a successful mission, even if one of the systems fails. Even with systems turned off and operating on limited power, in the vastness of interstellar space, this spacecraft has been sending information, and each message was understood until now. Recently, strange and mysterious messages have been sent back to Earth, leaving NASA scientists scratching their heads. But what are these messages? Could they be a message from an alien life form, or is it just a glitch in the system? The messages in question were sent by the spacecraft's Attitude Articulation and Control System, or the AACS, which is in charge of maintaining the spacecraft's orientation and pointing its instruments at specific targets. Because communication is difficult due to the 20 billion kilometer plus distance between Earth and the spacecraft, messages can take up to two days to send and receive. So what do these odd messages mean? Some scientists believe they are alien communication, while others believe they are data or information being transmitted. With the discovery of exoplanets and the possibility of life on some of them, the possibility of extraterrestrial life communicating with us is not so far-fetched. But hold on before you go grab your tinfoil hats, because NASA recently announced that they had solved the mystery of the strange messages. The problem was caused by the spacecraft's attitude articulation and control system switching to sending telemetry data via an inactive onboard computer. As a result, messages that appeared to be random or invalid were sent back to Earth. The solution was straightforward. The AACS was told to resume sending data through the correct computer. But just to be sure, the Voyager's project manager, Suzanne Dodd, stated, We'll do a full memory readout of the AACS and look at everything it's been doing. That will help us try to diagnose the problem that caused the telemetry issue in the first place. While it may have just been a simple computer glitch, we can't help but think about the possibilities of extraterrestrial life trying to communicate with us. Who knows, perhaps one day we'll receive a message from the depths of space that will forever alter our understanding of the universe. Until then, we'll just have to keep speculating and dreaming about the unknown. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and watch these ones as well.